Happy New Year, everyone. Lily Viola from Toronto, Canada, joining you to share a teaching tip for the Wunda Chair, which is Grotz Pilates Apparatus of the Month. I'm going to be showing you the saw. So I'm sitting right up against the back of the chair with my hips all the way back, with my back lifted tall. I'm gonna pick up my feet, lift up my toes, extend through my calf muscles, and press my legs wide apart against the sides of the chair. I'm gonna open my arms wide and press down on imaginary rollback bars so that I can engage my side body and lift in all position. So now, as I inhale, I'm gonna to twist to my right, look at my right hand, and with my left, continue to rotate across the foot, saw three times as I exhale, one, two, and three, and then return all the way back up. And I'm gonna go through my center, rotate to my left as I look at my left hand, and with my right, I continue twisting, reach across the foot, head down, belly in, exhale as I twist, I'm gonna to try to feel the back of the chair against the pelvis to keep me square there. And so now I repeat to the right, reach across, one, two, three, and upright, through the middle, to the left, and then across and exhale, one, two, three, and I can continue to use the feedback the chair is providing me to squeeze a little more juice out of this exercise. So I can keep pressing my legs wide apart against the sides of the chair, and I can keep pressing my hips against the back of the chair to maintain that square alignment. And then I come all the way back up, lower my feet and my arms, and just finish with a very tall posture. I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope that if you have a wounded chair, that you turn it upside down and try sitting on it like a chair. And perhaps even maybe if you're teaching online, this can be your uh, office chair. Okay, have a great day. Thank you for joining.